Hello everyone, most people use Gemini 3 as a basic AI model and only ever scratch the surface of what it can actually do. When it's used properly, Gemini 3 stops behaving like a chatbot and starts functioning as an advanced reasoning system that can perform complex reasoning and multi-step tasks. It's fully multimodal, able to process images, PDFs, audio, video, and large code bases alongside text. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Gemini 3 better than 99% of people so you get results that go go far beyond surface level answers through 10 high impact uses that improve productivity and save you hours of work. Gemini 3 also has a very large context window, allowing it to work across long reports, research papers, or large collections of notes. Without losing the thread, you can give it a goal and it will break that goal down, plan the steps, and work through the task logically. So instead of using basic prompts, I'm going to show you how to unlock the features that powerfully raise the quality of your work and save you time. So let's get started. So what actually makes Gemini 3 different is how it thinks. And this is where the mode you select matters because you're not always getting the same level of reasoning. When you open Gemini, you'll see options like fast, thinking and pro, and each one is built for a different kind of task. Fast is the quick mode. It's great for short answers, quick rewrites, and simple explanations, but it won't spend much time working through the logic. Thinking slows things down. Instead of jumping straight to an answer, it breaks the problem into parts, looks at constraints, and reason step by step. This is the mode you want when you're comparing options, solving multi-step problems or making decisions. And then there's Gemini Pro. Pro is the heavy duty option. It's built for complex reasoning and bigger workloads, especially when you're working with long documents, lots of context or multimodal inputs like PDFs, images, audio, video and code. Now let's put this into practice. I'll start by selecting thinking mode for this scenario because I wanted to analyze my options and give me a reasoned recommendation. So here's the scenario. A company wants to expand into a new market, but it has a fixed budget, limited time, and it needs measurable traction within the next 12 months. This isn't a yes or no question. It's a constraints problem. There are three routes. Option A, go straight into one large, highly competitive market. Option B, spread across multiple niche markets and try to build momentum. Option C, enter through a strategic partnership. Now, the important thing is how you ask. I'm not typing which one is best. I'm giving Gemini the constraints and I'm asking it to analyze the decision like a strategy analyst, not like a chatbot. And this time, the output isn't just a basic comparison. It starts by stating assumptions, like what measurable results actually mean within 12 months, that the budget is fixed with no extra funding coming and that the team can't handle endless pivots. Then it goes deeper than the usual pros and cons and it looks at the second order effects and a worst case stress test. So you're not assuming everything goes smoothly. Then it recommends option C, not because it's perfect long term, but because under a fixed budget and a 12 month deadline, it has the highest chance of delivering proof before the runway runs out. That's the shift. You're getting Gemini to reason inside constraints, surface failure modes early and make a decision you can actually justify. And once you understand this pattern, you can reuse it for any decision where the right answer depends on context, reasoning and analysis. Now let's look at one of the areas where Gemini 3 Pro really stands out. Multimodal work, this means it isn't limited to text, it can work across images, charts, screenshots, audio, video, PDFs and code, all within the same workflow. Gemini can use visual inputs as part of the analysis, so you can upload screenshots, diagrams, charts, or website visuals and ask Gemini to work with them directly. For example, you might upload a screenshot of a chart from an online report or a dashboard and ask Gemini to identify patterns, extract relevant values, or explain what the visual is actually showing. The image becomes another source of information Gemini can reason over in the same way it reasons over text. And because this all happens in one conversation, you can follow up, refine the question, or combine what's in the image with context you've already provided you can also use this to get structured feedback on visuals taken from websites or online platforms. Instead of asking whether a page looks good, you can ask something more specific like, give me design feedback on this page and identify areas that could be improved. Gemini looks at layout, hierarchy, grouping, and emphasis. 
and provides clear design feedback on how those choices affect clarity and usability. Not only can Gemini analyze images, it can also create clear, well-structured infographics using Nano Banana Pro. This is the model Gemini uses for visual creation, and it's particularly useful when you want to turn information into visuals that explain change over time. For example, imagine you want an infographic that shows population trends by age group. You can ask Gemini to create a visual that shows how the number of children, working age adults, and older adults changes across different years using a simple timeline. You can prompt it to use a clean, neutral style, apply simple lines or shapes, add clear labels, and focus on direction and change rather than exact numbers. The result is an infographic that makes trends easy to understand at a glance without visual clutter. And because this all sits inside the same workflow, you can move directly from analysis to visual output without switching tools. Not only can Gemini produce visuals, but it can also create stunning and well-structured presentations. Here we'll ask Gemini to create a short presentation on AI trends in 2026 with a clear slide outline, concise explanations and visuals from tools we'll select canvas mode and then generate. Gemini lays out the deck for me, a title slide, the main trends, and a logical flow from start to finish with clear content and visuals. I can edit the text, adjust the structure, or refine the level of details. I can export it to slides, and from there, I can also download it as a PowerPoint. This means that you have a full, well-designed and editable presentation in minutes. One of the most practical features in Gemini is its Google Workspace integration. This connects Gemini directly to your files in Google Drive. The benefit is simple. So you can work with your existing documents without uploading files or copying content into the chat. To use it, go to Settings, Open Connected Apps, and toggle on Google Workspace. Once it's connected, you type at Google Drive in the chat. This lets you pull in documents, folders, or specific files without uploading anything manually. For example, you can point Gemini to a folder in Drive and ask it to summarize the documents, extract key themes, or compare files against each other. The important part is that Gemini works directly with the source files. So instead of copying content back and forth, you're analyzing what's already in your Drive. This is especially useful when you're working across multiple documents and want a quick, structured view without changing tools. Now let's look at deep research because this is where Gemini can investigate a topic across many sources and return a detailed structured and in-depth report complete with references. So here we've asked Gemini to research patterns of AI adoption, key barriers, common success factors, and how adoption differs across sectors. Once I run deep research, Gemini starts to read, review, and analyze a large number of sources and synthesizes the findings into a clear report. You get the main themes across the literature, where adoption is working and where it's stalling, and what consistently shows up as a blocker. The output includes references, so you can trace where claims are coming from and follow up if needed. The benefit here is speed and coverage. What would normally take hours of searching, reading, and note-taking is compressed into a single structured output. This is especially useful for students, researchers, and decision makers when you need to understand a topic extensively and ground your work in credible sources. You can also use Gemini to analyze and summarize YouTube videos. Instead of watching a long video end to end, you can paste a YouTube link directly into Gemini and ask it to analyze the content for you. Gemini processes the entire video and returns a structured breakdown, not just a short recap. You get a clear, organized view of what actually matters, and you can go back to specific sections when you need to. This is useful when you're reviewing talks, interviews, or panel discussions and want insight without having to watch the full video. Not only can you analyze videos, but you can use Gemini to generate short videos. Video generation is a paid feature on Gemini, which will require you to upgrade to the pro version. You can generate videos starting from an image or by simply typing your prompt. For example, you can ask Gemini to generate a short video showing the same city street before and after the introduction of AI. The result is a short realistic cinematic clip that helps communicate transformation visually. Gemini can also work with very long text or within a single conversation. Instead of breaking content into small chunks, you can give Gemini a long document all at once and ask questions across the entire text. For example, you might upload an entire textbook or a long report and ask, identify the main themes across the full text. Gemini reads the whole document and provides extensive analysis rather than isolated summaries. It can connect ideas, track how arguments develop, and analyze relationships across different sections of the text all at once. 
In this video, we've seen the powerful features of Gemini 3. We moved from reasoning and decision making to producing visuals, presentations, deep research, video analysis, and working with long documents. The benefit is not speed alone, it's consistency, context, and quality. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.